YouTube Advertising for Beginners. This is a training series that's gonna show you everything that you need to know in order to get started creating your very first YouTube ad campaign. Again, this is video number three, so if you've missed the first two videos, there's a link to those down in the description. Make sure you watch those because this won't make a lot of sense if you haven't followed the steps accordingly. Again, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit subscribe, click the little bell notification, that way you can stay up to date on all the content from beginner to expert and every Everything that you need to know in between on YouTube advertising. So we're back here at my screen. This is a different ad account that I'm going to show you where that's already had some ads running uh, and I'm just going to show you what to look for so that you know how to get the most out of your YouTube advertising campaign so you can get the most leads and the most sales at the lowest cost. So this is, you know, we have a lot of different campaigns here over the past. This is one of my ad accounts actually and I'm just going to click into this one right here. This was a, an account that we uh, got started for mortgage. This was generating home buyer leads uh, for mortgage loan officers. Uh, I ran it for a few months, and as you can see here, we had a good amount of conversions. These are people that actually became leads on our platform and on our landing page, and we got those for $6.65 on average. Now, I didn't just get here overnight. I had to actually do a lot of pruning and refining in order to get the best cost per lead. And as you can see here, we have this broken down into these, these columns. Obviously, our ad group that shows our ad, our conversions, our cost per conversion, the amount of impressions, the cost that I spent on it, the amount of views, the amount of clicks, and our cost per click. When you're looking at this, you're going to want to kind of go into your targeting options, the ones that you've selected, and you're going to kind of want to see what the data shows you. So if I just click into, let's say, demographics, I can see how it performed with the different, de the different demographics that I selected. I only ran it to these age groups. And it got me, you know, these are the amount of conversions per age group. I can see my cost per conversion, they're pretty level all the way through. I can see how many impressions, how many views, what the view rate is. Your view rate is simply the amount of impressions and divided by the amount of views. So as you can see here, 26%, it goes back to that first point that I made in the very first video, how many people are actually watching YouTube ads. Well, as you can see here, nearly one in three, definitely one in four are watching my videos. A good KPI that I like to maintain is if I can be at that 20% range, one in five, I'm okay, it's not ideal, but I don't want it to be any worse than that. So one in four is almost one in three, that's where we're at, my cost per view is at seven cents, six cents, five cents, and I can, sh I can see my various cost metrics here. And I can see the click rate, you know, and the amount of clicks that each age range brought me. So 25 to 34 got me 271 clicks on my ad for $1.18 per click. Uh, $1.07 is my best performing one, and that's between 55 and 64. So if I were looking at this and I had this wide open, perhaps this would be 118, you know, th these would be here, but maybe this would be at 90 cents, or maybe this would be at you know, $10. Obviously, I wanna shut the things off that aren't working. And this goes back to, it's always good to kind of cast a wide net and be willing to spend a little bit more money on the front end to get data into your ad so you know it's working because these assumptions can also be flipped. Maybe 18 to 24 is gonna be my most uh, my cheapest cost per lead, the cheapest cost per conversion. Uh, it's getting me all the winning metrics that I want. And if I just turned it off in the beginning, I wouldn't have had those results. So it's good to cast a wide net, trim back where you need to trim and just refine based on that. So that way, the money that I'm spending on a daily basis is only going and it's only being channeled, no pun intended, it's only being channeled to the metrics and to the, the targeting options that I want and the ones that are actually getting me good results. I can also go up top here, I can select gender and I can see how it pertains to male and female. It's very split, very even. Although male is giving me a little bit more on a cost per conversion, I'm getting a better result with females, uh, even with less impressions, less views. It's, it's really, uh, it's kind of a wash here. This would be really subjective as to what you want to do. I can check it on parental status and I can see, okay, how many conversions. I can see that not a parent is getting me more conversions, but they're a little bit more expensive. So I might want to actually channel this more towards parents. Even though I've gotten a smaller number, my cost per conversion is a little bit lower and that's great. 
but I can use these metrics to say, okay, where are my clicks coming through? Where are my conversions coming through? And I can really begin to hone in on this. I can see that the lower 50% is gonna give me my cheapest cost per click, and I've gotten way more clicks out of that demographic. Um, and as far as conversions, I've gotten a lot more conversions as well. And this just kind of makes sense for the niche, right? I mean, people who are looking to buy a home, uh, Google might think that they are not as affluent. They're not in the uh, household income bracket that they should be in, and that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, you're gonna wanna track this on the back end and see you know, what sales looks like. If, if you're having conversations with people and you know they're in this range, you can turn it off if it's if it's wasting your time or they don't become, whatever that is, it's completely subjective. But this is how you're gonna look at your data. This is gonna be how you look at your analytics so that you know how it is. And you can also come in here and you can add custom analytics. You can set these columns to be whatever it is that you want. So if I click on columns here and I do modify columns, I can see the things that I wanna get rid of. Let's say maybe I don't care about conversion rate. Uh, let's say I wanna move clicks up and I wanna do this. I, you can add these here, you can go to performance and you can add different things. You can see you know, who's watched the video. So if I click on video played and I can see who's actually engaging with my content, I can see, okay, the top 10%, which is what everybody wants. Everybody wants the top 10% because they have money to spend, so they think. Um, and I can see that only 12% of them are watching this video in full. And this video is probably three minutes long. Uh, I can see where the drop-off rate is. I can see how it's performing. I can see 25% is pretty level. 50% is pretty level as well. Uh, this is pretty level across all metrics. I can kind of see it throughout the entire thing. Sometimes it goes away, so I just bring it back by going to columns, modify columns, performance, and video play, 25, 50, 75%. Um, and let me stretch this out a little bit. I can see here that 55 to 64, which is one of which is one of my you know actually more expensive cost per conversion, but I can see that they're watching more of the video to its its full length. And this and, and this is helpful because of this because if you're doing a good job in your video and you've explained you've 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 made a very good offer, you've made it very clear on what they need to do, and you've explained what this is. This actually is beneficial. I'm okay paying maybe a little bit more per cost per conversion if they're watching all three to four minutes of my video because I know that when I actually get them on the phone or in person or in, in a meeting, I have to do a lot less explaining. I, that maybe they're a lot more aware as to what this is all about and, and that's great. That actually helps the sales process quite a bit because I can look at it in one different way. I can say, you know what? Uh, 35 to 44 has gotten me um, a really good conversion amount, decent cost per conversion, but they're only watching 13% of my video. Like 13% of them are only watching it in full. So there's a lot of drop off there. So I know that when I'm in a sales presentation, I might have to explain this a lot more. There might be a lot more educating, a lot more selling, and maybe I'm, that's not what I wanna do. Maybe I wanna prime these up and these leads up more to where they're more qualified, they're more interested. And so I, if I see somebody is watching a lot more of this, and even here, 75%, the, the number's higher. This is probably a really good metric for people. So I might kind of turn off the ad spend for the other ones and just go in here and pause them, exclude them, in lieu of the people that are watching all of it. Even if my cost per view is a little bit more, I'm okay with that because in theory, it should lead to a better sale, more sales to people who watch the entire thing. I hope you've enjoyed this crash course tutorial on YouTube advertising for beginners. It would mean the world to me that if you've implemented any of this training and you've gotten great results, to comment below and let me know what those are. I wanna celebrate with you. If you have questions on any of the content that we've provided, whether it's in video one, two, or three, ask them below in the comments. I wanna be a resource to you and help you get unstuck or kind of help you along in this process so that you can get your ads up and running. This has been a free lesson, a free tutorial presented by Major League Video Marketing. Do me a huge favor, subscribe to our channel, comment below, hit the bell notification, let us know how we can possibly help you so that we can make YouTube ads work for you individually for your business. Thank you so much for tuning in. YouTube advertising, build your brand, build your business, build your bottom line.